नंबर एटीन एन एनालिसिस बाई एलियन इलाई एंड कॉलीग्स ऑफ कॉइन्स मिंटेड इन सिडॉन इन द फिफ्थ एंड फोर्थ सेंचुरीज बी सी ई रिवील्स अ चेंज इन देर कॉम्पोजिशन ओवर टाइम वाइल अ कॉइन फ्राम सिरका फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी बी सी ई कंटेन्स अबाउट नाइन्टी एट परसेंट सिल्वर एंड वन परसेंट कॉपर अ कॉइन फ्राम थ्री सिक्सटी सेवन बी सी ई द एंड ऑफ बा अल सिलेम टूज रेन contains 74.2% silver and 24.7% copper giving it a relatively yellowish appearance that traders would have noticed because coins with a silver content below 80% were widely considered unsuitable for trade ilai et al speculate that a crisis in confidence in the currency occurred in sidon around 367 bce which was likely relieved despite sidon's persistent oppressive financial obligations As a result of Ba Al Silem II's successor, Abd a start one's decision to blank. Which choice most logically completes the text? A. Proclaimed that the percentage of silver in coins suitable for trade would be raised to a threshold higher than eighty percent. B. Keep the amount of silver in Sidonian coins consistent with that in coins minted in three sixty seven B C E, but decrease their weight. C. Begin minting heavier coins with a proportion of silver to copper similar to that in coins minted in 367 BCE, or D. Fund the mining of some copper deposits that were not available to Baal Silem II. There is a change in the composition over time. The coin earlier had 98% silver and 1% copper, but later in 367 BCE, the end of Baal Silem II's reign. It contained seventy four point two percent silver and twenty four point seven percent copper. So copper has increased and silver has decreased. So what happened? It gave a relatively yellowish appearance that traders would have noticed. So because of that, the coins with silver content below eighty percent. Now the seventy four point two means it has gone below eighty percent. So the uh, traders were saying that it is unsuitable for trade. So there was a crisis in confidence in the currency. Which occurred in Sidon around 367 BCE, and it was likely relieved despite Sidon's persistent oppressive financial obligations, and also as a result of Baal Selim II's successor. So, what he did? What was the decision? So, if you said B, well done. That is the correct answer. Choice B is the best answer because it most logically completes the text discussion of Sidonian coins. As the text explains, researchers determined that Sidonian coins were made of silver and copper, and that from 450 BCE to 367 BCE, the percentage of silver in each coin decreased from 98% to 74.2%, while the percentage of copper increased from 1% to 24.7%. The text indicates that because the coins containing less than 80% silver weren't considered suitable for trade, suggesting that copper was less valuable than silver and looked different from coins. containing more silver the researchers suspect there was a serious loss in confidence in the currency in sidon in 367 bce when the copper content was high it's reasonable to assume that it wasn't possible to boost confidence simply by devoting a greater amount of valuable silver to the currency since sidon was under significant and ongoing financial pressure however keeping the total amount of silver the same and reducing the amount of copper in the coins would have resulted in smaller coins with a higher percentage of silver therefore it makes sense to suggest that abd start 1 the ruler after 367 bce likely restored confidence in the currency by deciding to keep the amount of silver in sidonian coins consistent with that in coins minted in 367 bce but to decrease the coins weight choice a is incorrect because the text conveys that a crisis in confidence in the currency of sidon likely occurred around 367 bce because the percentage of silver in coins had fallen below 80% presumably because sidon's financial pressures meant that less silver was available for currency making the coins unsuitable for trade thus announcing that the threshold for the percentage of silver in coins would be raised that is the coins would need to contain even more than 80% silver to be suitable for trade likely would have worsened the crisis rather than relieved it so a therefore is not correct c is incorrect because the text strongly suggests that a crisis in confidence in the currency of sidon was caused by the proportion of silver to copper in the coins in 367 bce with 74.2% being too little silver for the coins to be considered suitable for trade 
Therefore, it's unlikely that minting coins with a similar proportion of silver to copper, that is still around 74.2% silver, would have restored confidence even if the coins were heavier. Choice D is incorrect because the text gives no indication that funding the mining of copper would have relieved a crisis in confidence in the currency of Sidon. The text establishes that Sidonian coins that visibly contained copper weren't considered suitable for trade. So Abd a start one wouldn't have wanted to add even more copper to them. And it's unclear how else copper mining would affect views of the currency. You can see that maybe this was the best idea they got to keep the coins uh, consistent with that but decrease their weight.